five groups of two equals ten. Good job. I saw that. We start at eight o'clock with a whole group dis discussion. And one of the things that I do besides, you know, saying good morning and greeting them all, I like to celebrate kids that did certain aspects of the homework. They did a flip grid. I like to recognize, hey, thank you for doing the flip grid. And so I do a PowerPoint where the, each other names are highlighted and they like that. They really enjoy that. Then I review what we're going to be doing for the day. And then I start with small reading groups. And those vary anywhere from six to 10 kids. I have three of those. So part of what you see around the classroom is um, those discussions that we've been having in those small groups. And for instance, they got to record themselves and flip grid. And they really enjoy it because it's engaging. So, and then I have they have a 15 minute break from 10 to 10 15 and is followed by two groups of math and so that allows me to have at least a good 35 minutes of solid instruction with them one of the things that i did is that i did an informational meeting the week before so that actually was really helpful because for the parents it put a face on who the teacher was and for me it also put a face on the parents even though at that point i, I couldn't connect kids with parents you know, I, I think, you know, coming into it, there's always at the beginning of the year excitement, which was kind of fun. And, and I think the challenge of trying to figure out what was going to go in a learning kit to make instruction effective was really exciting. And that I bought when I was at home because I can see them and I can see many of them are in dark places. So I feel that it's really important that when they see me, they see me as clear and crisp as possible. So whatever I'm teaching them or showing them, whether it's on the board or it's just me, my presence, I think that's really important for the kids to be able to see. And then things that I like to do is that I like to take them a little bit in the, in the tour of their classroom. Um, we just finished an art lesson this week. So one of the kids came and she dropped off her art. I want them to feel that even though they're not here with me physically, that their presence is here and that when they look at their bulletin board, they can take pride in saying, that is my art and that is my classroom. Something that was important was to make sure can they all log in. So on Monday when I start my class, I know that my kids will be there. I was very pleased to see that Monday I had 26 out of 26 in my class, so I was ready to learn. And one thing that from the beginning has been really evident is that our kids really want to be in school. And our parents have been so incredibly supportive. I am so grateful and astounded by how supportive they've been. We'll end our meeting. Bye. Bye. You make me proud, scholars.